That was kind of an unsatisfying end to making the cut. I'm happy for Johnny. I'm happy he won. I understand why he won. But when you have a designer who all season long, we hear the judges say, we've seen it, we've seen it, we've seen it, we've seen it, we've seen it. That same criticism over and over again. And then for him to be the one who is last standing at the end of the whole show just feels wrong to me. Uh, Johnny feels like a very sellable brand, but not all that unique. Whereas our other two finalists, Esther and Sander, both bring an extremely unique point of view to the fashion world. And it's very, it's very disappointing to not see that rewarded. And one thing that really blew me away is we came down to the final verdict where you know, the judges were saying who they picked. And if Naomi hadn't changed her mind, that would have been four to one in favor of Johnny. And that's, that's mind boggling to me. They were criticizing his runway. They were criticizing his styling choices. He was the one receiving the criticism on the runway. His pitch was very weak. He just kept repeating, I have the infrastructure in Bali. I have the infrastructure in Bali. And to me, that's not, that's not somebody selling their brand. Like I felt something from Esther. I felt something from her collection. And I can totally see women wanting to wear specifically Esther's clothes. Like they see that, they see that powerful design that she has and she had that right from the start and carried it straight through to the end you know she was our top designer right at the start of this uh, the, sh the show and i felt like she was the top right at the end uh, back to just the start of the episode uh, obviously sander was our our first finalist cut he got cut after the pop-up shops and I really, really, really hate to see that because I think every single person watching today would have loved to see his runway. Like what does a 12 look collection look like from Sander? Uh, like we could see from Johnny, he put his best looks in his pop-up shop. You know, all the, all the looks that the judges liked they were all in his pop-up shop, every single one. Esther, that was not the case. Sander, I guarantee that wasn't the case because if you go back to last episode, he, he did have like one, one piece that we saw briefly. It was a red top. It was nothing like what he showed in his pop-up collection. And I just know he would have blown us away on that final runway and I'm very sad that we didn't get to see it. You know, if he didn't win, that's all right. But I still think that we as fans deserved to get to see that collection. And I think Sander as a designer deserved to get to show the world that collection. So in the end, Johnny wins. The guy that they said wasn't innovative. The guy they said was had already been done. The guy who started off just making leather jackets and yeah sure he evolved over the course of the season and really listened to the judges and really took in their critique but he's still just someone selling clothes other people are already making and that is a tough way to end this season you know i wish johnny all the best i do think that he will be able to have a successful partnership with Amazon. And I think that that relationship is probably worth more than the million dollar prize. That having that launch pad in Amazon to get your products to so many different pairs of eyes all around the world is worth millions and millions of dollars. So congratulations to Johnny. I hope he does well. And to Esther and Sander, I really hope that we see you again in the future. I know Sander is only 24 and I'm excited 
to find out what he's been doing, where he's going, and what great things he's going to do in the fashion world. So that is it for making the cut. Uh, overall, I did quite enjoy this show. I like that it was more of a design focus as opposed to who can do the most sewing in the least amount of time focus. And there were a few exceptions to that over the season, but overall, this was about the designer, about the brand, and I thought it was a, just a unique approach to the design style show, and I hope we get another season of it in the future. So thank you so much for watching my videos on making the cut this season. And uh, if you want more reality TV, make sure you check out all the other videos on my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you later.